Hey guys, Versus Education here and welcome back to the 3DS Max Beginner Modeling Series. And in today's episode, we're going to be going over how you can create your very first basic shapes inside of 3DS Max. Now, before I begin, I just want to say that these basic shapes are just going to be things like cubes, spheres, toruses, cones, pyramids, whatever. And these are going to form the very basis of pretty much each and every single model that you make. Now, for example, if you was going to make a gun magazine, you might want to use... Um, a cube and then you just start sort of just bending it into the shape um, which I'm going to be showing you later on inside of a series but for now we're just going to create our very first shapes inside of 3ds max and if you take a look in my viewport here you can actually see I have some of these uh, basic shapes and I also want to go over today just using some of the uh, some of the basic viewport controls that you have available to you because uh, you won't be able to work with your objects very well if you can't so in terms of navigating the viewport as of right now let's just go ahead and use the perspective view which is our realistic 3d view now it's pretty simple now to move it around to click and drag like this you don't use your your mouse uh, your mouse clicks anyway you use the scroll click I and mean, you just drag like that and then up here in the right hand corner of each and every viewport you can you click that and you can move around the view just like that it's very very simple inside of 3ds max so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you for now I'm gonna be going over some of the different viewport views uh, later on but let's just leave it at this for now so you can see all the different shapes here that I've got. I've got my cones, the toruses, the cubes and whatnot. Let's go ahead and create some of these. So I'm just going to start from scratch. I'm going to select all of these and delete them. Boom. Done. Now to create this geometry, it's really, really simple. But at the same time, we also have a whole bunch of different parameters we can play around with to, um, to actually adjust the size and the scale, uh, the size and the shape of these objects. So to create, start creating these, go over to the create tab in your command panel and then go to geometry and now let's just go ahead and click a simple box let's make a, uh, a cube now let's go ahead and click box and now in the viewport just click and drag and it will sort of make a square now when you let go of this you can actually move your mouse up and down to start creating uh, you know the depth of the uh, the box actually bring it into life in 3d so um, you can see here I've now got my basic shape. It's really, really simple. And uh, we can begin working with this. So let me just create another one real quick without all the extra segments that I had there. So we've got a basic shape here. That's pretty much the easiest way to create our shape. Now we may want to be able to play around with the exact size of these objects by hand. So let's say I wanted to have an exact cube. You can see at the moment it's 91 by 98. It's almost a cube. It looks like a cube but it's not. So if you wanted to change that, let's just go ahead and set this to the exact settings using the parameters panel here by setting the length, the width, and the height all to the same, 55 in numbers just like this. Now, let's say that um, you're making an environment for a game and you have a player that is, say, 90, 90 high, and you're making a door frame, you're going to know exactly how many units you're going to want that in terms of height. So if the player is 90 high, you might want the door frame to be 100 high or whatever. You know, this is one reason why you may actually may actually use the, uh, the length, width and height parameters. But you should be able to understand to the use of that. It's pretty simple. It just allows you to define um, the height, the width and the length with a little bit more accuracy. Now we've also got something over here called segments, width segments, leg se uh, length segments and height segments. At the moment on our shape we just have what six sides on a cube. Um, if you want more of those um, so you can add a little bit more detail later on you might want to change that to two, two and two and it will sort of split it up. If I set it to like three, three and three it sort of turns it into a little Rubik's cube for you and um, it allows us to play around with it a little bit more uh, later on you can see we've got all these little lines and the and the faces and those lines and faces are what we actually modify when we're doing our modeling so if I wanted to I could pull out this face in the middle here or I could put up pull out one edge to make it longer without affecting the others so if you know what you're making uh, it's good to sort of just get a general idea of how many segments you have and then just set it in here just like that it's very very simple um, we're going to be going into that in a little bit more detail later on. So let's just go ahead and leave that box there for now. I'm going to use the scroll click thing to drag along again. And let's go ahead and create a cone. Now I'm pretty sure all of you know what a cone is. It's uh, got a little circle base and then you drag it up. And then once you click that, 
you can change uh, how sharp it is at the top basically so you can have a cone like this all the way in like that and you can see we've also got the uh, the segments again um, and the sides and whatnot so the sides will be the bottom section here so you've got 24 sides there let's say we wanted that to be five we can change it down and it looks and the detail is slightly lower if you wanted that to be more round turn the sides up obviously the more sides and the more polygons that you have inside of uh, an object the lower the performance for the player so I'm going to set this around to 10 that that looks pretty circular to me and uh, it's just about right in terms of performance you've also got the radius uh, the radius one is going to be the bottom radius and then radius two is going to be your top radius so if I go and increase that, you can see the top end just coming in and out. And radius, I'm pretty sure anyone that learned maths knows, it's basically the the distance from one side of a circle to the other. And then you've got your height over here as well. And then you've got your height segments, same as the sides, you just turn it up for more detail, turn it down for less, and uh, obviously you have more, you have more control over it. So let's just leave the uh, cone for now. Now we've got spheres. Spheres, pretty much simple. Um, you click, you drag, and you make a circle just like that. And then if you wanted to, you can play around with the radius again, like I showed you previously. Uh, and you've got segments. If you want a perfect ball, you're going to turn the segments up. If you want, you know, uh, a few less, you might want to turn it down. But for balls, um, you're probably going to want to have quite a few. So for me, I found if you want a relatively circular one, you're going to want to go for at least 18, 18 of these. Now, next up we've got the little cylinders. I'm not going to bother with geospheres for you now. Uh, let's just go over cylinders. Pretty simple. You click to define the base, let go, and then you just bring it up, and then you can play around with your radius, just like in the cone. And then you got your height, so you can turn that up and down. And then you got the height segments, which is the segments going up and down. And then you got your cap segments. If you want to, you can turn these up or down. That's just a piece of the top there. And then we got our tubes. These are a bit like cylinders, except they're hollow. So I can define the base size like this, and then I define how thick it is. And you can also see we've got the little gap in the middle there. So let's just leave it at about this. Click that once, and then we can drag it up and play around with the radius, the height, the segments, and so on and so forth once again. Tauruses, odd shape, basically a donut. If you like donuts, you'll like tauruses. Um, let's just go ahead and click that. Boom, done, got the radius, we got the twist, and uh, a few other little things. Just experiment with some of these little parameters in here. They are relatively basic. Pyramid, you click once to define the base, and then bring up the triangle, and then teapot. I don't know why they put teapots in here. You might want to make a teapot, but that's entirely up to you. There you go, you got a teapot. And then you got a flat plane, which is essentially... Um, it's like a 2D shape. It's like a 2D square, but it's flat. It should have two sides most of the time. Uh, you might want to use this for floor rather than using, um, like a perfect cube or whatever. Anyway, it's pretty much basically all you're going to need to know for, uh, basic shapes. Just play around with some of the parameters that you have available to you. Create some shapes, whether that's going to be boxes, cubes, tubes, toruses, pyramids, teapots, whatever you want. Just play around with that and uh, get ready for the next few videos. So comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.